I want to take a couple minutes and go over the process of completing work using Office 365. There are several ways to access your account. Remember, all of this is free. You can go to your individual mobile device store and download the apps, or you can go on to office.com and access everything online. Again, using your student ID at washoeschools.org login and your specific password. Now, if you need to change your password, please contact your advisory teacher. He or she can help you. It will take a couple days to get the turnaround on the new password, but they can only send it to the password listed in Infinite Campus. So please make sure you're using that email. To navigate, when it comes to programs like Teams. There is a menu at the top where you will be able to find the items you're looking for. So if I go into my example social studies class, you will notice the name of the classes over here. On top though, I have the posts. This will include any current assignments that the teacher may have put out or informational items that they have out, which you can see down here. Any files that the teacher believes you need to have access to, usually in the class materials folder, but it might be below. Some teachers do use the class notebook, and in my class, we will be using the class notebook at some point this year, just not yet. And of course, the important one, the assignments tab. Now there's two ways you can get to assignments. You can, in any class, simply click assignments, or you can come over to the far left, and you can access assignments that way. Let's talk a little bit about assignments. As I said, there are two ways for you to get your assignments, and some of the assignments will require forms, whereas other assignments may require you complete a Microsoft Word document. Perhaps there's something you have to do that involves photography, using your mobile device to take a picture, your camera. Uh, so let's get into not only looking at an assignment, but completing it, and some of the considerations we need to make on assignments. So here is an editable assignment that I have been given. You will notice that there is a section that's called student work. That is where I will complete the assignment. Whatever the teacher is asking me to do usually will be there. There is also a section called reference material. This is not material that I can edit, save, and upload as my finished work. So please make sure you're paying attention. Does it say reference material? Does it say student work? Now when you open this and you complete your work, be sure to hit save. Most systems are designed to save it automatically, so if you don't see a save button, it saves it automatically. The reference material is there to assist you. You can read through it, complete your written portion based on the reference material. But sometimes we do struggle with some of the features that Microsoft has. Let me introduce you to something called Immersive Reader. When you click Immersive Reader, it gives you a series of options, starting with having the book read The Emancipation read to you. Proclamation, modified and excerpted on the first day of January. And you can certainly change not only the, the audio, you can change the text size, the fonts, the coloring. You can have the different parts of speech identified based on colorings and even labelings. So if I'm having a hard time getting basic English skills and I do need some assistance in identifying a noun or a verb or an adjective, an adverb, uh, I can certainly use this system to help me out. There's also the option of using translation. So if, for example, you, you or your parents uh, are uh, second language learners and you do, for example, want to get a Spanish version of this, as you can see there are several Spanish versions, you can go ahead and have this thing translated for you fairly easily. La proclamación de emancipación modificada y extracto. Immersive Reader is not the ultimate solution for you having success in completing the assignment. It's a tool like anything else. So whether you are a student with specialized needs in terms of breaking down content, or if you are learning English from another language, it is something to consider and it is available for you. Don't forget at the end, 
So when I log into Teams, I complete the assignment. At the very end, I need to make sure I turn in. You're going to click that turn in button. That will signify to the teacher that you have opened the attached file, whether it's Word or whatnot, and it is ready for you to grade. If you don't click turn in, the teacher will not know it's available for you uh, to have a grade assigned to it. As we talked about, Immersive Reader is not only available in Teams, it's available in Microsoft Word, uh, it's available in Forms, and there's a series of options that you can use not only from identifying colors, translating in your language, having the system read it aloud. These are tools to help you understand the material better. You're going to be faced sometimes with the difficulty of deciding do I use the Online 365, the browser version, or do I use an installed program? Remind, remembering that everything that you download, whether it's Word, PowerPoint, Teams, uh, is free as long as you log in using your Washoe Schools ID. Uh, great things about Office 365, the first one is the automatic saving of files in OneDrive. That means when you open a Word document, you don't ever have to worry about saving it. The system will automatically save it as long as you don't change any of the settings. Uh, oftentimes, students will bookmark their main page, so they will log into their main account, go onto that main screen, and bookmark it. And the main screen I'm talking about is this one right here. They will bookmark it, and up at the top here, they would be able to access it very quickly. Uh, that would require them to save their password as well, so if you're going to do that, only do that on a trusted computer, hopefully one at home. Uh, you have not only Word, but you may complete projects using Sway, PowerPoint, your teacher, uh, whether it's myself in social studies or anyone else on our team, they're going to go over the process of using those, those software systems. Uh, there are some restrictions, of course. Communications, video and chat are limited for students. That is to protect you from other students. Uh, and uh, it does also limit how you can contact your teacher. So I recommend if you're having difficulty contacting your teacher and you can't see him or her in person, send them an email uh, quickly. What you post is just like at school. If you were in a classroom and you were to say something inappropriate, there would be consequences. Uh, same thing online. What you can and can't post is based on everything that's been published through Washoe County School District. If you look in the planner or you look at the district website, they do have a very concise listing of uh, items that would be considered inappropriate. There is a school email that every student gets. It's your student ID at washoeschools.org. I would very much recommend not using it. Half of the emails that you would send out are actually not delivered, and you don't receive a lot of the stuff. So if you are lacking an email, you might want to consider talking to a parent. And if they agree, you can use a free service like Gmail or whatnot. Finally, VPN. Uh, I know several students do use VPN. I use it myself. But one thing to keep in mind, if you set your VPN to another country, no matter what country it is, and try to log on to your office account. There is a very good chance that the system will interpret that as someone trying to hack your account from overseas. It will block you out. So please, whenever you're going to use your school login account, make sure to disable VPN first. Now, if you do need more assistance, you need help on anything, you can go to my website for more guides. You can go to the school's website or come see me. I am available most times uh, during the day. And of course, your effort speaks to who you are. Always show your best side. Let's make it a great year. Thank you.